is uh, Richard back at you. Today we got Chad, uh, 2009 uh, Chevy in the house, uh, uh, 2500 HD, 6.0 motor. 6 speed, 6L90, I believe it's in it. Really busy at the shop. It's good to be back uh, uh, for vacation. Five days, seven days, whatever. It didn't last near long enough for sure. So, but we do have a new camera person. She's finally back from being out of school. Are you having fun? Yes. Hey, I'm, I'm excited for you. We got a lot to do though. So we're gonna uh, video this uh, 6L90 to tear down real quick. Got a lot of jobs we've been getting done though, let me tell you guys. Um, this thing has a lot of metal in the pan. A lot of metal. We got a lot of things we're gonna be doing to this tranny. Uh, we're gonna fix the number one problem is that we're gonna put a good converter in this thing. Uh, we already have a billet converter sitting over here on the shelf and uh, HD one sitting there that we have a billet backing put in and stuff like that uh, makes it a lot better converter cures the issues that these trannies have so but anyway we've got the full uh trans uh, star kit to go in this what we'll be doing is uh i like using trans stars i mean i like to buy the master kit it'll come with all the uh gasket seals uh snap rings uh it'll come with all the clutches the kit it'll come with uh all the bonded pistons, all the steels, everything in, in, in one box. It makes it really nice that way. And then we have our Transgo kits that we're gonna be putting in it to correct the TCC and line pressure issues and stuff like that. Uh, give these guys a call. I'm telling you, you ain't using their stuff. Uh, you're not you're using good parts. A uh, complete bushing kit here, a uh, complete pump kit. Now, we do have the Tecum coming uh, for it too. We just had to get it out and get the serial number off of it to, go, to get it here too, to do it tomorrow. So we are gonna be replacing that too. So this thing has got a ton of metal in it. Literally a ton of metal. Now this is just a factory torque converter. You can see here what the fluid looks like. It's just really dark. We can get our lockup O-ring off here. There. Come on. Oh, that was that's hard as a rock. So that's a big problem right there, right off the bat, just having hard seals on these trannies and stuff like that. So now, Peyton, I told you that we had somebody riding along in this on the side of this tranny but we got some mud daubers here this one here has already gone home he's already out of here but these ain't been popped open yet and i told her they could still be in here actually they are still in there they're probably not alive but she wanted to see what they look like now there you can see there you go they're still in there. He just didn't get to make it. Make it. So, but this uh, truck, I believe, is from Texas. I'm not too sure on that. Okay, guys, we're gonna get the tail housing off here. Uh, being a, a four-wheel drive, uh, we're already putting the rear main seal on the back of the motor. Uh, the whole cover gasket we're sealing on up because it did have a small leak there and stuff. So and you can see we do have a seal here on the back of it. Uh, we got the lockup O-ring off, so we'll turn it over. And get the body off next. Feel good to be out of school? Yes. It does, I bet you. Summer don't last long because our vacation didn't last long at all. As you can see here, all the metal that's in the pan on this thing already. Now we're hoping that um, the pump ain't wiped out on this thing. I tell you everyone, we get into it, uh, you take that chance of uh, pump and bell housing failure right off the bat. So. Get this unlocked. You push this little lever here, pull up on it, and it unlocks uh, the harness connector right here. Kind of give it a little tap. 
loosen it up, and then you can take some pliers and just wiggle it and pull it right out. Now there is three O-rings on here, two round ones and one square looking one right here. Now here we have the Tecum, it's called the transmission controller, it's got all the seal noise and stuff in it, and then we physically have our valve body here, and then our neutral safety stuff, switch and stuff here. So, get some of this apart. Park retainer. Bolts to take the valve body off. It's a uh, EP10 socket. You can see the end of the bolt looks totally different. Okay, we pull these bolts out here first, get them out of the way. Vacation did not last long, guys. Let me tell you, I didn't even get to catch a fish. The place that we went to uh, is just o overwhelmed with people. I'm just uh, but uh, we just couldn't get out and really do a lot. Uh, the, all the restaurants were just serving six and seven tables. Uh, everybody's still wearing masks. <laughs> Stuff like that. Really, uh, shorten our vacation. We got our valve body off here. Now we'll go ahead and take this apart, give you a general idea what this stuff looks like. Sometimes these gloves work good and sometimes they're just a pain. But safety's the very best. Now this is our neutral safety switch here. You see all the metal and stuff in here. Um, this train is gonna get a complete work over. Once we get this uh, piece here off uh, and you replace it, the tranny has to be reprogrammed totally. The transmission controller and everything is physically in here. Uh, this is your pillow switches that you see on the 4L60s and stuff we talk about. And all your screens, your solenoids and stuff. So this whole piece will be uh, totally be replaced. Uh, once you do that, uh, you have to have it uh, reflashed uh, to the car. That way they'll know each other. Uh, if you don't, then you're pretty much, uh, it's, it ain't happening. Huh? Uh, your park the lights and stuff like that it won't light up in the dash or anything like that. Everything's just messed up. So we don't, when we do that, we don't even drive them to the dealer. We'll take and tow them to the dealer and uh, have them do it over there, uh, depending on uh, what's going on, how, how things are going. So now these uh, do have seals that seal the valve body to the case. 
Anytime you pull your valve body off, you want to change these seals. Uh, if you come over here and look at this, they set right in here and they seal it, the valve body to the pump or to the case here. Let's see this one here even. Now your overhaul kit will come with new ones. So, pretty simple. Valve bodies are pretty simple on these two. Not a whole lot to them. A few check balls. Speed sensors here. Uh, anytime you have any speed sensor issues, you got to drop the valve physically to get to them. Now these are dowels when it stays together. Oh, they had one to flip it on. Show you where all the check balls were, but I didn't do it. Let me do it back this way. See if I can get it to work that way and get them back in the hole. Some of them didn't go back in, but um, like I said, you want to check all your check balls. Now, overhaul kit will come with all new check balls that go in here, uh, but just replace them because these do shrink. Now, our Transgo kit uh, will come with different valves and springs and stuff that go in the valve body. And we do have a bonded uh, plate and gasket. If the gasket looks fine and stuff, I always reuse this and just torque it back. I'll try to grind. Uh, it off and try to put new gaskets on there. I mean, it, it just, it can be done, but it's a train wreck. So, pretty simple. Now you can see just how the, all the metal right here, Peyton, you just see just fell out of there in a big old clump right there. A lot of metal. Said you uh, got two boxes of Transgo stuff over here, and uh, one box is for the pump and stuff like that, and then the other stuff is for your TCC stuff you're through here. So, pretty simple. Uh, just put all your kits in it. Don't champ on this stuff. Do it right. Pretty simple training to do. Then I'm gonna try to air check a little bit of this real quick. Let's see what happens. I'm not gonna get oil off you. I'm just gonna listen for some leaks and stuff. See if I hear anything. See if I have anything unusual. That's uh, lube. good there now like I said you can hear some leaks across uh, a couple of these channels through here but that could be just because of uh, hard pistons uh, shrinkage of the pistons because these got all bonded uh, pistons in them and then uh, and then they actually got individual seals too so there's really a lot of these in
Okay. This is the main piece that we don't want damage on. Have our big pump O-ring. Okay, they got different bolts, sevens and eights and tens. <laughs> Okay, this is uh, what we want. don't want to see any damage right here. Let's look at this. Flip it over and keep our fingers crossed. See what we have here. Yeah, we have damage here. Man, oh man, I was hoping not to see that. Every time it seems like it. But, you know, that there is... Uh, the, even these converters here have to be spaced. Uh, the spacing on these converters are terrible. So, when we go to put this back in... Uh, we have to space it, but this wear here on this right here, uh, to me, isn't uh, so much from the converter failing, failing. It's from uh, the converter not being in totally all the way. I mean, it's in pretty far, but look here, we could have went another easy an eighth of an inch or longer or farther in here uh, with this converter, and that just keeps this stable from rocking and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Get all of our pump paddles out of there. This old tan has a really good smell to it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gonna see a lot of green gloves. I bought like I got a really good deal on eBay on these things. Uh, I think I bought like four or five hundred of them for two hundred fifty bucks. I appreciate you guys uh, sending me these things and getting me the right ones to try and stuff like that. That way I know which ones to buy. Might start being more safe. Especially with my health. So, we're going to get over here and look at this pump slide here. And see if we got any wear down in there. We got a single spring. Get this out of here. Now on these uh, slides here, we do have an O-ring under here, and then we have a Teflon ring that goes on the outside, where your 4L60Es will have a metal one. So, actually this slide looks still decent, but if you come in here and look, look at all the metal that's in this pump. I mean, it's just, that's all that is, is metal. Unfortunately, it did what it uh, did. It wiped out the complete pump. Let's get in here and look here. You can see this is just water. There's an eighth of an inch gone here. It just wiped it plumb out. And then you have your, your slide, pivot, pin, and spring. So unfortunately, no good. Uh, no good. Uh, but we can uh, uh, get a, a bell housing pump in here overnight. Ain't be no, won't be no problems when we get this vehicle gone. And then we can send this off and have that repaired. Uh, that way we'll have it for the next job. So, not too bad. Of course, we're gonna get in here and pull our planets out and stuff. Got a six pinion. Now this should be a 6L90, a lot bigger tranny. Look at all your planets and stuff. Make sure the pins don't wobble. Anything like that. They ain't change any colors. So we don't really see planetary failure on these. Get your sun gear on both sides. We have a six tab washer down here. Teflon one. And we also have a bearing down in here. So... 
we're gonna go ahead and look at our four, five, six clutch here. A three, four, five clutch, excuse me. I'll get these mixed up every time I start dealing with these trannies here. Of course, this is the number one culprit too on failures. You can see this thing is just cooked. That's why we buy our overhaul kits. We get the steels and all. That way we don't have to buff them. We don't have to know. We're just going to replace them. So, of course, in here, you want to look here. I tell you, the, the overhaul kit will come with all these pistons. So, once you get it together, you can look in here for any type of cracks when you air check it. Stuff like that. You want to always look at that. Replace your rings. Okay, we get our third, uh, fifth and reverse clutch out of here. Still looks pretty good. So keep your snap rings uh, with them because they are different. We get our one, two, three, four clutch out of here. As you can see we're starting to get wear here. Starting to turn dark. Dave, did you find somebody to video for you? Yes, I sure did. Out of school, so she's doing really good. Thank you, Peyton. I appreciate you doing that for me. You're welcome. <laughs> Too bad you're still in school. <laughs> okay. You leaving? Okay. No, I'm not leaving. I was just coming to say hey. Okay. You're used to me. But uh, these overhaul kits will come with all the seals and stuff and your bonded pistons. We seal, usually the rubber is usually sticking out around the snap ring through here and stuff like that, so... Uh, when you take this apart. Now you do want to air check this for any type of cracks through here. Now since the clutch isn't burnt up, I doubt there's any cracks. But when you do air check it, you will get a little tiny leak. There's a little tiny hole somewhere around here. I have to find it. That you will hear. Where is it at? There it is, right there. See that little tiny hole? So when you air check it, you will have air come out that hole and it's not part of the, not a crack or anything like that. So, so keep your snap rings together. Now, these trees here, uh, when you go to put the bushings in and stuff like that, your standard uh, bushings will not work. Bushing drivers won't work. We physically had to buy a special bushing driver kit just for this unit. Uh, because it's so easy to damage the bushings uh, when you're putting them in. So, just wanted to let you know. So all these services where the bushings run, you want to scotch bite them up really good. You want to come in here and look. You can see here where it's starting to get tarnished. Still looks really good. Scotch bite that up though. Same way with this uh, bushing down in here. So these bushings are really hard to replace if you try to use a, your standard bushing driver. If you buy the, old, the bushing driver kit for this training, kind of expensive, but it knocks off tons of time. Same way here, you want to check here to here. Uh, scotch brighter them up here really good. Change all your bushings. Oh, I almost forgot guys, got ahead of myself. We do so many other units and then you throw this thing in the mix. I forgot, go yellow. Go yellow. That's what it's like to get that thing out of there. Mighty snapper right there. It is beveled flat on this side. If bevel or the flat goes in, bevel out. Just try to put it in a spot where the, the tips ain't opened. You know, where they're, where they're in a sealed area. Thank you for those. If you ain't getting the snapping out, you'd have to have some type of 
crazy arms or something. And we got our two six clutch here. See what it looks like real quick. Like I say, if you don't see any burnt clutches or anything like that, you're probably not going to have cracks. Uh, especially if the customer's been driving it. So. Then we have our low reverse clutch down here. Let's see, it's starting to get a little wear too. I'm not for sure how many miles is on this vehicle. 248,000 miles. Doesn't look too bad then, I guess. So it's, just, it's definitely original. So, you can't say these trannies are bad. Totally bad, they're not. Uh, if, you, if you had one with low mileage on it, and you had the money, take this up and have change converter, put a bill of converter in it, and, and uh, some Sonex stuff. They can do it really simple. Uh, some of the stuff's uh, really more critical in the valve body part of it, so. We do have our Sprague assembly down here. I actually had one come in. Uh, the guy, um, whoever did it, put this washer, put the snap ring in, put the washer on there, and just let the washer roll around inside the tranny. It was, I don't know how it didn't wad it up, but it didn't. Assembly down in here. Uh, the most heaviest thing right there. So you really just don't see any case damage. I mean, look for anywhere where it sets or anything like that down in here. But you really just don't see anywhere on these cases, does it? We just don't see it. Nice so, bearing there. Now, being that we've seen the six gear planted in the front, this one here, it's almost a telltale sign right there that it's a 90. When you get in a little deeper in here, and then you're gonna get into this gear system that's 10 times bigger than your eight. I mean, it's just massive difference in size. So, you do have a lip here, flat side here, it does go down, just remember that. Pretty simple, really, guys, on this. Look for anywhere in your planetary for it and run over into that metal. You really don't see it. It don't really get through the filter. So it mainly just uh, gets in the pump and sends it everywhere else. So not too bad. Uh, it just, it just uh, I'm terrible. Every time we get one in here, we have to do something with the pump stator and the pump body. You know, it's just terrible. But it's something that we love doing. Peyton? Thank you for recording again. You definitely got a lot more work to go. So y'all don't forget to subscribe and y'all have a great day.